What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Tackle Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm back with another video. But before I get into that video, I want to take the time to say, let y'all inform y'all that I leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on the links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. Today, I'm back with another video. Oh, shoot. Today, I'm back with another video. Uh, this one called Emergency Trip to Florida. Emergency Trip to Florida. Let me make sure that's the right title I want to use for this particular video. Emergency Trip to Florida. Let me see. My bad, I should have did it beforehand. I just left the barber shop. Emergency. Mm. Okay, emergency trip to Florida during hurricane. Emergency trip to Florida during hurricane, yes. Let me make sure my hair cut right on. Okay, you got me on point. Got me got got your boy looking good. Okay, I'm on point. I messed up at the barber. I paid the man on the app. I forgot about it, and still went to went to Wawa to get the money to pay the man. And I just thought about it. Chat like, hold on. I paid bro through the app. You know what I mean? So you now I'm saying with more money in my pocket than what I like to walk around with. But you know it is what it is. It be like that sometimes. You know, you got a busy life. So much going on. It be like that. You know, so now get on with this story. Uh, back in I'm gonna say, I think it was September. At no, set in our September, beginning of October. I'm sorry. Hold on, give me a second. I gotta get right. You know what I mean when I got to get right? Hmm. I always leave the barber shop with hair on my lips when they do my beard and everything. Hmm. No. Got to keep them baby whites handy. Knew my lips felt weird for a reason, but I like my new barber, man. My new barber always get me right. I me mean, always get me on point. My gold teeth right, just where I like it, you know. And you see the edge on point. I mean, you boy on point, you know. So I, I, I don't care how many barbers I gotta go through. I'm gonna go as many. I'm gonna go through as many as needed until I get what I want from you. That's just what I. That's how I feel. But um. Uh, Emergency trip to Florida. Back in uh, back in um, back in uh, the inner. Let me see. After we, after I came back from Florida, after I came back from Chanel birthday weekend in, in DC, I had to take an emergency trip to Florida because of some situations that were going on with my kids. My daughter was going through a lot at home between her grandmother her mom and what was going on in school and what was going on with my 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 baby boy you know uh was going on my baby boy you know if y'all recall me and him had an argument about school shopping where since I didn't want to give him what he wanted for school shopping, which was to pay his uh, pay his uh, what's it called his his, his sheen bill. Since I didn't want to pay his sheen bill, he wanted to tell me, "Well, you ain't getting, you ain't coming to graduation." You know, he tried to throw his weight around like he got some weight. You know, how can a child have weight when you don't have a pot to piss in or want to throw it out of? 
So, you know, you know how that, that ended with him telling me either pay my full sheen bill or you're not getting a ticket, not getting a ticket to my graduation. So we went from there. Left that like that. We start talking and everything. He blocked me on the phone. Then unblocked me. I don't know when. So I wanted to come to Florida get some get some straightening about everything with him, with my daughter, with my daughter, mom, the grandmother, and my brother tag along, his wife tag along. You know, cause my brother's a lot better at this this fathering thing than this parent parenting than I am. You know, I'm I'm still old fashioned. I do everything old fashioned. I believe raising our kids the same way we was raised is the key to success in being a parent. So that's what leads to a lot of decisions I make. So we took the trip to Florida, kind of found out from my, my baby boy mom there's a hurricane hit the same time. But after we found out, everything was already paid for. Everything was already set up, you know, for us to right come to Florida. So we get to Florida, link up with my daughter first, talk to her, you know, get some understanding with her and everything. And I felt like me and my daughter got on the same page. We, we took some time to bond, had a good conversation. That is on point. You know, that is on point. Took some time to bond and everything, get some understanding. Came to some understanding, you know. She wanted more consistency out of me. Time goes on. We leave her house. Go pick up my baby boy. You know, he come up to the car. We all talk. He got it. I had to tell. I could tell from the moment he came to the door, attitude on 100. I was cool with it. You know, they they getting older. They learning to express themselves. You know, teenagers, 17. In 1.2 miles, so, turn left onto Chesapeake. We talk, tell him what it was. You know, like I've been stressing since even 13. I'm your father. I'm not your personal bank account. I'm your father. You know. Everything not gonna be a revolves around money. You're to the age where you can make your own money. I put my In foot down, mile, stand on it, so that I had to say. He said we had to say, then it turned into a bit. I'm gonna say, I'm, I wanna say I felt like I've been attacked because my brother kept putting his two cent in, you know what I mean? He was there to mediate everything, but I could have, I felt like this is one situation he didn't need to be a mediator and he just should have just sat back and let me do what I do. But instead, he put his two cents in and point out some things that he always bring to my attention and it really sink down. And that's when I say, okay. You know, so we, I thought we had a good understanding. Got some things talked about, discussed. Bought my kids dinner, took them home. You know, and um, that went down like that. And I feel like we got a little understanding through it all. You know, they got to see how I feel. I got to see how they feel. They express themselves where I express myself. You know, made it clear, you know, I'm, I'm, your, I'm your father, not your paycheck. You know, y'all are to the age where you're working now. You're 17, you're 16 to 17. Middle wages is now $10 an hour. So Go past this light. The you working 30 hours left. a week is a, is a very good paycheck. More than what it was when I was your age, you know what I mean. More than what what it was when I was your age. Light, so, I don't know what it is. You no, know, I still feel the same way. A lot of things are now your responsibility. If I choose to help out, I choose to help out. Y'all already know how I feel about everything. That's just how things go, you know. And uh, that's how that went. So we gotta understand. I I, I thought we gotta understand it. Time goes on. We back at the room chilling. We everybody received an email. Me, my brother, his wife. We received an email saying that our plane was canceled. Our flight was canceled until two days later due to the hurricane. So we all sat down and figured things out and agreed that it would be cheaper for us to. Cause we all we 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 went with the plan of sitting in Florida for three days. Just chilling around a motel room when them locking down the city. They were locking as we was out eating and trying to see what was open. We find out everything was closing early due to the hurricane. That's how bad they was predicting the hurricane to hit Florida. So we did our research, kind of found out that it was cheaper for us to drive the rental car back to Virginia and pay the fees instead of sitting in Florida for another two days. 
with nothing to do sitting around the hotel room. So we couldn't get the money back from all the extra days we put the hotel for. So we charged that to the game, agreed to split the drive in three ways to drive from Florida to Virginia. Everybody agreed to help me split the fees the to, right to cover the fees to for dropping the rental car from a whole other state, a whole other city. Then what we picked it up in, then what we, then what I put in the system to drop it off in. And we headed back to Florida. We headed back to Virginia, you know, because we didn't want to lose all that money. So we headed back to Florida, Virginia. Um, while on the road. I was seeing little highway signs saying that all tolls is 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 wide open. You know, you know about being charged with tolls and anything concerning anything concerning the, the hurricane. I'm like, okay, that's what's up. You know, I pointed it out. Nobody paid attention but me. So I was a backseat driver. I didn't I didn't feel comfortable driving during the hurricane. You know what I mean? During the bad weather and everything that we ran into. On the drive from Florida to Virginia, I didn't I didn't feel comfortable driving. I mean, as I'm looking out the window from the back seat, every time I looked up from the movie I was watching on my iPad, I seen you could barely see the lines of the road. You could barely see the road. That's how bad it was raining. That's how bad the, the wind. Like you could feel the wind and the rain hitting the car. Like nah, I won't feel it. It was turns that my brother and, and sister in law was making that I was looking like nah, this ain't this driving ain't for me. I don't want to do this driving right now. You know what I mean? Like I won't, I won't with it. It was turned like we was going, like we could tell that it was turned that shoot that we was making that could have been could have led to us being in the water. You know, I, I won't feel it. I mean, everywhere in Georgia, everywhere had a bad storm due to the hurricane that was hitting Florida. You know, and uh, I wasn't with the driving. I kept those all sleeping. I let my brother and his wife split the driving. You know, because I, I just won't feel uncomfortable. I won't feel uncomfortable with, like, most of the road you couldn't see. But the majority of the road was covered with rain. So I won't, I was not okay with driving in that. You know, we get back to Florida. I mean, we get back to Virginia. Uh, I called a rental car company to see what the fees would have been. And they told me everything was paid. Everything is, is free of charge due to the hurricane. They understood that. People was rushing to get back home, couldn't afford to have these flight delays, so people chose to do other options and budget did not charge me the fee. It both have been a two hundred and fifty dollar fee for me dropping the rental car from a whole other state than what I picked it up in, so they didn't charge me that fee. The tolls around Florida they didn't charge me fees for that. The tolls in Virginia that we went through on the way to the airport. All of that was waived. All of the, all those fees were waived. I was relieved and thankful to find it out. You know, I was relieved and thankful to find out that all fees was waived due to the hurricane. Like that was a, that was a blessing alone in the sky right there. You know, that was truly a blessing in the sky to have all that waived. We had the money, but you know, it was a, it was a delay or a change of plans, not because of us doing the thing wrong but because the weather you know and thank you thank you God that America had a heart thank you God that America had a heart because you no know, it surely came in handy we made it back to Virginia the distant time frame even with me returning the car an uh, hour late you know what I mean because when we pulled up at the house I had 10 minutes to get the car back to the rental car place and didn't make it didn't make it, it took the time but the fee from returning the car late. That was also waived. Like just a blessing. Everything was a blessing in the sky. You know, I got to see my kids. I this was my first time after seeing them outside of FaceTime since I moved to Virginia, August of 2021. Of a year me moving to Florida, Virginia. It was the first time I actually got to be around the hug and take pictures with my children outside of FaceTime. So it felt good to see them and build that bond. Let them see, yo, daddy be in business. Daddy took a flight in a hurricane, you know, to, to get things straightened out with his kids. Like, that's how important my kids are. I mean, my children means the word to me, but I will stand on what I say. You know, I still follow the same old-fashioned way with being a parent. When your kids here working age, then a lot of their expenses become their expenses. That's less 
that's less they in their parents' bag and more into their own bag. You know, I'm gonna preach that to the day I die, even when my kids get grown. Hey, figure it out, figure it out before you call mom and dad. Figure it out before you call pops. I can't shoot for their mom, but figure it out before you call pops. You know, figure it out before you call pops. Even my daughter, she pointed out, uh, you didn't even help, help me with school shopping, baby. Your mama has me on child support. So that's less I got to do for you because I'm on child support. Just point blank simple. Told her just like that, you know. But that was a good conversation. We got everything resolved. You know, since I've been back in, since I've been back in Virginia, my daughter sent me a surprise text one day saying, good job of being more consistent. Like, what you mean? Like, you staying in touch every day or every other day. I've been hearing from you more often. And that, that led to now her opening up to me. The bond is getting there. I mean, I'm texting every morning. The motivation stuff that I put on Facebook to motivate the world, I now take the time to send those same motivation texts to my children. You know, then on top of that, uh, I feel like thing again worse with my son because we just had we had another fallout because uh, one doctor called him out of the blue and the conversation was just leading to all one word sentences. And that's that's unusual for between me and my 17 year old son, my baby boy. And uh, so I figured, I figured, let me take time to talk about something that maybe he wants to talk about. I bought a, I bought a prom. That's what he got to say. Yeah, let's talk about prom. So well, I see, I heard the excitement in his voice. I go in and say, well, you know, they be going to say what I got to say. You can say how you feel about it. So he, we agreed. Told him like it is. You're 17. You're 17 now. All I'm giving you for prom is $100 and checking out the deuces. Like, that's all I'm giving you. With me giving you a portion, your mom giving you a portion, some money, that should be enough for you to stunt for one night. You know what I mean? That should be enough. So he busts out laughing like, wait, wait. So you telling me all you going to give me is $100 for prom and chunk out the deuces? I said, yeah. Like, he was like, what is $100 going to do? Don't know, don't care. This is your prom. You working. Your mama going to chip in. Plus my hundred. That should be enough. You know what I mean, that should be enough. If me and your mom, if we give you a hundred apiece, that should be enough to take care of your tux. Everything else on you. And no, he says, no, we're not finna do this. If you can't do what I need you to do for my prom, then I'm just gonna go in and block you now. I, said, I told him, I told him straight, okay, that's fine. I'm cool with that, go on the block, because we're not finna play this game. Every time daddy don't give you what you want, you wanna block. I said, this, this time when you block me, leave me block, and I'm standing on that. Cause we're not, we're not finna do this. I'm your father, not your personal paycheck. So he said, okay, hung on the phone, block. This was November 14th. Cause I look at the text. After November 14th, that's when I noticed every time I text the phone, it went from blue to green. So I left it just like that, cool, I'm cool with it. You know, I talked to him on Thanksgiving, told him happy Thanksgiving, where I should, He's on the phone with my daughter. So I heard her telling that he called me later on, like, with an attitude, what? Stay in the second I'm like, right. that's how you answer the phone, what? With an attitude? Yes. I just want to call and say happy Thanksgiving. Say, okay, thank you, hung up. Okay. So, you no, know, and I, I practice my kids, treat the world how you want to be treated. So since you want to call and hang up on daddy be rude, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not on that being a bigger person. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not big on that. I mean, I treat the world... It's like how, how the world treat me, and I practice the same thing with my children. You know, because we don't, if we don't show the, our children the what the world gonna give them, they gonna be shocked and lost when the world happen, when the world give it to them. So I practice that. I treat, I treat, I treat everybody exactly like how they treat me. You a butt head towards me, I'm an asshole to you as well. You give me attitude, I'm gonna give you attitude back, or I'm gonna cut y'all. You know what I mean? I practice that with everybody that I come in contact with. I don't care who you is. I don't care who you is, you know? So I haven't heard from my son since then, since Thanksgiving, been almost a month, and I'ma keep it just like that. You know, I'm still gonna touch the phone probably once a month just to see if anything changed, you know? And go from now. So I just wanna share this story with y'all. For a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in uh in December, tell me how you feel with this situation. And I'll give you a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in December. If you like this story of time, uh, emergency trip to Florida during a hurricane, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on post red notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to click on the link in the description box. Run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up.
Most importantly, happy holidays to everyone watching this video, whether you're genuine or uh, a silent supporter. You know, the holidays is for the three F's, family, fun, and food. Holidays are for the three F's, family, fun, and food. Leave all the other nonsense and where you lay your head at, where you get, where you pay bills at. You know, enjoy the family time, maybe good memories, and plan other get together with your family. In 1.6 miles, take a I've been status, y'all, my next vlog.